Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome everyone. I am joined here by Nadia El Magrabi. Uh, she is a past life regression therapist. We collaborated on a book recently, A Journey of Riches. Transform your wounds into wisdom. I loved your chapter, Nadia. Uh, the depth of work that you do is incredible. The level of transparency that you articulate uh, was just heartwarming and uh, great to be joined by you today. Thank you so much, John. It's been just a pleasure working with you and the whole process of writing this chapter. So yeah, yeah I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Awesome. And you look very warm and cozy. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's great. Am, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, you know, it's uh, the seasons and it can be quite nice. And as you said, um, you know, it's good for, uh, you can go snow skiing. So there's always yeah. a, a positive. Yeah. yeah. There's benefits to having a foot of snow on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. I do love me some snowboarding. So nice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, fantastic. Well, uh, I loved your chapter. And I, I love that you're a past life regression therapist. I, I've done a, a number of sessions with a past life regression therapist and they're just life changing. I, I found it just an incredible experience. How did you get into uh, becoming one? Well, um, you know, I've always been interested in um, incarnation and past lives. I would say ever since my twenties, when the idea was first introduced when I first yeah. introduced the idea. It, there's yeah. something about it that just really resonated with me and drew me in. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, my healing process began in my 20s. You know, I I became a massage therapist and really started yeah. um, and was reading lots of books. You know, I read a lot of Edgar Casey and Many Lives, Many Masters by Brian Weiss, that one. And you know, so that whole idea of reincarnation was like, oh, it, it just made so much sense to me. Um, right. And so I went on and went to school for psychology and did other different trainings. Um, and then somebody gave me a book a few years ago, or maybe it was five years ago now, uh, about children's past lives um, mm. by Carol Bowman. And oh, I wow. read the book and I was just riveted because children actually they don't need past life regression work so much but they spontaneously will remember past lives and they'll start talking about them usually as soon as they start speaking they'll start talking about them. And oftentimes there's traumas that they've experienced from a past life that they are trying to understand and to work through. And so this book was written really as a handbook for parents to help their children um, um, process what they need to process around the mm. they were speaking about. Um, because for children, you know, it's like they're in this kind of in-between world. And a lot of times mm -hmm. they don't really realize that they're in a different life, right? Like they, it's just this kind of continuousness yeah. of, consciousness and at two three four five you know they're just starting to get into these bodies but they are still coming in with all their memories from their past you know until that's kind of wow. taken out of them <laughs> in a sense by our culture and you know societal mm -hmm. things. um so but reading that it just really brought me back to that you know knowing in me that that this is something important and i want yeah. to work with people in this way and help them and help myself understand yeah. more about who I am, you know, on in this life by looking yeah. into who have I been and what have I experienced that's contributing to, you know, the positive and the negative. And so I went and did a training with her, with Carol Bowman, um, a wow. few years ago years ago and uh, got a lot out of the whole experience and actually had my first past life regression at that time when I did the uh, training with her. Wow. And that's what I talk about in the book, like that whole experience. Yeah. That yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I, I find it uh, very fascinating and um, 
I mean, you mentioned Brian uh, Weiss and um, Many Lives, Many Masters, and he talks about having a, a patient that was speaking Chinese. Uh, have you had any, like, just incredible, like, just mind-blowing experience with clients I in mean, terms of yeah, yeah, breakthroughs I mean, or... Definitely, definitely. That's yeah, what's, what's yeah. what draws me to the work is that it can be yes. very pivotal. Like, it can be yeah. very within just the one session. Yeah. Um, and doing just the group regressions because I've been doing more of the group regression work lately as well as the one Okay. One. And uh -huh. even in that, people can have pretty significant um, experiences, but there's one that sticks out to me. You know, it's like people receive messages in all sorts of ways. Sometimes it's they see things or, or feel um, or just have a sense, like an intuitive sense that something's happening. Mm -hmm. Like we all, we have to like really tune into how we receive the messages. Mm -hmm. um, but one woman, she just had a, like a strong sense. She was in a in an orange orchard and she could just smell the oranges and it was like by the sea and she could feel the the seawater and smell the, the salt in the seawater and you know it's just like so I, it was so visceral like I felt like I was there with her you know so there's like wow. experiences like that and then her her what she went through, what she experienced in that life was very um transformative to her life now and really she yes. she got to of what it was that was really um, bothering her in this life. It's yeah. like it, it almost goes, it just goes underneath the surface of our consciousness is what I feel like. Mm. And it helps us bring awareness to the root of whatever it is that that challenges that we're having. And mm. so you know, a lot of times I'll hear from people, you know, like, oh my gosh, I used to wake up with anxiety every morning and now I don't anymore. Like just after that, like I don't, I, might, I feel more relaxed. I feel that, that pain yeah. in my stomach is gone, you know? So it's just yeah. this kind of like abrupt change of something that was always there. That's like, oh, wait, it's, 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 it's just gone. So yeah. Yeah, I find it fascinating. Yeah, it's incredible. And I, I, I agree. Um, yeah, it just gets to the root cause of it. And then it's no longer the ailment or the behavior you no longer do it it just disappears it's, it's magical it's amazing so yeah very uh groundbreaking stuff and um yeah it's awesome that uh, you do that and you write about it and share it what's one key takeaway that you hope readers uh glean from your chapter hmm. i think you know yeah, what stands out to me is that they, that people understand that the answers are within them. You know, that whatever it is that's troubling them or whatever struggles that they're having in their life, that they can actually, they, they have the answers within them. And it's just a matter of exploration and allowing and trusting that the answers are there for us and knowing that we can get to that and that they don't need any fix them or to heal them but really it's it's about this self-exploration deeper um, connection like it's, you know, it's about doing the inner work just knowing that when we do that when we take the time really to kind of put our thinking talking mind to the side we can root there's a wealth of information there for us and there's there's a lot of healing that we can do um by turning inward. I like that. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, what's next with you with your past life regression work? Uh, are you moving it? You said you do uh, group work. Are you moving into live events or uh, what's next um, for you? Well, this weekend I do have a live event at a yoga oh, wow. studio in town. So I'm <laughs> okay, doing cool. I know. I've been doing them online, you know, I've been yeah. doing the group online, but now yeah. still actually the first time I can do it in, uh, in front of a live audience. So I'm excited to do that. So I'm doing that this weekend, um, close to my house and, um, okay, cool. I'm, I'm running a group right now. It's a, yeah. a six week group and it's around past life regression work. And so we're doing uh -huh. 
two regressions during this process of uh, past life regression and then a future life regression. Okay. Um, and then, uh, there's also some teaching in there and about just doing the inner work and shadow work and projection and talking about these wow. types of things like how to how how do we do the inner work and how do we um you know how we can just use our daily experiences to learn more about ourselves um and then i'm bringing some human design in there too because that's been my new oh. passion as of late is okay just been been very um enlightening for me and my process mm -hmm. and I'm using it with my clients my one-on-one -on -one clients and friends and family mm -hmm. and everybody <laughs> the, anybody that wants to have it in life. so yeah that's something that i'm bringing into this group as well so yeah oh fantastic so on, you know and then i have my one-on-one -on -one work as well so okay continuing on with all of that that's brilliant. And um, when, where can people catch you this weekend? Is it Saturday? They can... Saturday, it's in Potosi, yep. Michigan. So anybody who's in Northern Michigan. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Um, it's, it's, at a, it's at a yoga studio named Yoga Roots Potosi. So uh -huh. the, you can sign up on the website there, but yeah. Okay, um, and we'll, we'll put the links below as well. We'll get the links from okay. you and, and add them. And um, of course, Oh, it would be great also to get the links for your uh, your group work as well. If anyone wants to have like a picky boo at, at that, I think that would be nice. Um, yeah, that's really cool. That sounds exciting. And yeah, I love the human design as well. I um, had my chart done. Um, it was probably back in 2015 at the Bali Spirit Festival. And uh, yeah, it's a lightning experience and it just helps you understand yourself at a deeper level. And also other people, how other people communicate. Yeah. Now, it's why does my partner always overload me with information? That's because, you know, they're a manifester and that's how they do it, you know? And so, yeah, yeah. it's, I think it, yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's, yeah, it's very validating work. It's validating for yeah. people to know what these things and to yeah. be like, oh, okay, there's nothing wrong with me or I'm not supposed to be like that or, that's why that person is like that, and I'm like this. You know, it's just like I love that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it helps a lot. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, having an understanding of why people do what they do when it's not personal, you know. Personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a huge one. It is. Uh, yeah, because you feel like, well, don't they know I don't like that? It's like, well, no. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And I, I felt like you outlined a lot of that uh, within your own relationship uh, with your husband and how you navigated different things and you know where this perspective he was coming from and where you were coming from and how you are able to find the middle ground. And um, yeah, that, that sounds like a very, it was very empowering to read. I imagine it was an empowering experience to live and go through, so. Yeah. It was. It really, and yeah. it really turned yeah. our relationship around, and it helped me, yeah. see us in a completely different way. So it's like, yeah, is so much different now than it was. Yeah, that's that was very inspiring, and uh, I mean, especially in this day and age, where you hear a lot of different, you know, uh, couples getting divorced and things like that. I mean, my both my parents have been divorced twice. Um, but luckily they're on their, uh, they're in a relationship that, you know, they'll be with until they leave this plane. Um, nice. but yeah, it's so common. So it's so needed, these tools that you're sharing and, um, you know, it's awesome that, you know, you're able to do that and support and hold space for people. Yeah. I feel like it's very needed at this time and, you know, yeah. and, and yeah, I think that sometimes we can, um, you know, sometimes it's necessary to maybe dissolve a relationship or to change a relationship, but I think sometimes people might do that prematurely, and that mm. if we actually a little bit to our own, what our own yeah. triggers are and what our own, you know, story is yeah. around something that we can maybe change that, change the course of that, and and find a way to connect more on a deeper level. <laughs> And it's different for everyone, of course, but yeah. you know, it's always an option to kind of do our own inner work to see 
how we can how we can be bring our better selves to the table. Yeah, and I think that the key word that you mentioned is definitely uh, inner work. You know, the yeah. door opens inwards. And right. uh, so often, you know, we want to change the world around us. And, you know, but we do that by changing ourselves, you know. That's the big <laughs> thing. I feel like that's yeah. the thing. That's the so key. easy to project. And it's like, well, if you were different, then I would be okay. And you know what I mean? So it well, doesn't we, kind of work like that. <laughs> and we do that on the world too like we blame yeah thing, or we blame this person or that situation and it's really like okay yeah it's but that's showing us something inside of ourselves that we need to address right like when we have a strong yeah. time, we have a strong emotional right. reaction to that's hitting yeah. something you know and it might be yeah. true it might be true that it's out there as well but yes that we have something in there that we can we can look at and we can you know start to uncover so that's the courageous path that's the courageous path right there you know that that's uh you know it takes a, a lot of strength to go well you know what let me have a look of how i'm showing up to this situation you know and uh that is that's difficult to do you know um but i appreciate anyone that does the inner work it works with anyone you know, on their own in a game, it does take a lot of courage and it does mean, you know, stepping up to be a bigger version of ourselves and embracing our vulnerabilities and insecurities. You know, we all have them. And um, yeah, it's, I love, you know, joining different groups and things like that. I was part of a spiritual circle recently and, you know, it's great just to expand and, and you yourself, you know, learning the, the uh, life by design uh, he's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. My dog is that your doggy? My dog is getting into trouble over here. Oh, okay. We're on the move, folks. We're on the move. And uh, what's your uh, what's your dog's name? Tazo. Tazo. Okay. That's a, what uh, is he a special breed of dog? He's a. Uh, let me see if I can. There oh, he is. yeah. Is it? Is he white? No. He's oh, I can see. He's a little black and white dog. Tazo, come here. Oh, okay, he looks like a cocker spaniel. Yeah, he's about that same size. Okay. He found, he found my oh, oh look out. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, no, all good. He's probably running around the house later on with, on the sugar high. So, <laughs> exactly. Good old Tazo. Cool. Well, um, what you know? What's a common theme that you find working with clients um, in, in terms of like um, problems? Is this like something that just always comes up uh, that you find with your clients when working with them one on one or in a group? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, a lot of times there's anxiety, there's anxiety or anxious thoughts and feelings. Yeah. Yeah. worry about something that they can't um really understand i mean it's always right. this, you know, something that's under the surface and and the thing right. is, is most of my clients, a lot of them mm. have been in therapy they've been doing you know they've been doing their work they've been trying yes. all sorts of different um, modalities to kind of get yeah. to what is that it's like seems to be the what, what seems to be bothering them and so mm. Um, yeah, and they feel like there's just this something underneath the surface that they can't quite get to mm. with just traditional talk therapy or, um, right. you know, different types of modalities. Um, so this is something that they can, you know, helps them to kind of get their conscious mind out of the driver's seat for a little while and allow, yeah. allow spirit in a sense or their higher self to kind of come through. <laughs> Because the way that I work with people too is that we really we hone down a core concern for them. So they're coming in with a specific issue or a specific um, something that they want to get to, and we get that down to a phrase that really hits at a deep emotional level. Right. And so, and so what happens invariably is that I ask them to repeat that after I take them into the relaxation. Right. And 
they repeat that phrase and then it, it takes them to the life, to the source of where that issue started. And so then we can explore that life and what the situation was, what the circumstances were and do the, any healing work that needs to be done around that, like having conversations or forgiving or whatever needs to be done. It's always different. Um, and that helps them. And then it like brings awareness to the source of what that is. And so once they have that awareness, I mean, then things just start shifting. Yeah. Sometimes it can be automatic, like immediate, and other times it takes try to like really integrate it or clear it. But it, it can just having this light shining on understanding what it is, it's like almost mm. like oh that's why. Oh, that's why I feel this You're way. Right. It's not about something that happened to me or I did in this life. Although right. we to come into situations that are similar to our past lives. You know, we've had right. we'll have, like the threads will run through lives that are similar from life to life to life, or maybe there's multiple threads, you know, so it might seem like it's happening in this life, but we may have created the situation again in this life so that we could overcome it or to um, really understand it on a different level. Right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That's incredibly powerful. And I love how you go to the root cause of the concern and issue. And um, reminds me of a saying that, you know, a problem well stated is a problem half solved and that you have it down to a key phrase. Yeah, that's very powerful. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah I think that, yeah. Work. yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes we, we store, you know, trauma and things in our body as well and yeah. um yeah and so yeah. you know do you, i guess do you have like exercises or processes that you take your clients through so it's not just like a talk therapy it's right. that yeah okay and cool I, yeah i ask them to feel in their body like during the regression yeah. i'll ask them like where they're feeling okay. it and we talk a lot about okay. that um, uh -huh. and as well you know yeah. it helps them to identify where they're feeling things in their body or Right. Not, um, and then take them through the relaxation. But yeah, there's a lot of information. You're right. That's when I was doing, I did a body work class back in my massage therapy days, where yeah. that's what we did. We combined massage therapy and psychotherapy in a sense on the table. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the whole idea is like, you know, sometimes somebody's getting a massage and they will mm. have a spontaneous memory of mm. something. And that's perhaps it's something that's stored in the body, like a car accident or trauma. And so just to be in tune with that. So, so really on to something with that, like, you know, body keeps the score. <laughs> that, that well, yeah, it's so true. Yeah, I mean, a lot of those trauma books relate to the body. And right. uh, yeah, it's so true. In a past life progression that I went through, actually, um, I had hurt my knee. And then going through that regression, my knee is now like, I have zero problems with my, with my knees, which is, yeah. I mean, it's so powerful, as you know. Yeah. So, yeah. That can happen, right. Yeah. Just release the emotional pain around it. Um, yeah, that's uh, very powerful. Um, yeah, I love the work that you do. And um, yeah, I as I mentioned before, like it just... It does take a little bit of courage at first just to step up and say, hey, I want to explore this and that. It's kind of not working for me and it's awesome. And um, yeah, even just chatting with you and, and reading your chapter, you know, I just feel that sense of a very strong presence and then just safe, you know. You're someone that I think people could probably just open up to you in the supermarket or grocery store, you know what I mean, and just tell them a whole, tell their whole life story to you without even knowing that you're a therapist, you know. You just really um radiate just a you know a, a beam of positivity for people maybe that's not always a good thing but uh yeah i definitely can feel that you know so yeah yeah and um yeah it's really cool well i'm excited good luck with your event uh this weekend i hope it goes yeah. really well and um yeah the yoga studio there that sounds really cool it's uh, great Awesome to go out and do a live event again, I imagine. 
I know. And I have another one coming up in January too, as a yoga retreat. Yeah. Or oh. Another retreat. And so I'll be doing that. Yeah. As well. So yeah. Ah, cool. Lots on, lots on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. And um, yeah, any like uh, anything that you would like to share or any thing that you would like to that's on your mind or that you feel's pertinent today? Let's see. I don't know. Um, I mean, it, yeah, I think just that it was a it was an enjoyable process doing yeah. the book and I really uh, you know it was out of my comfort zone to do it and. I'm really glad that I did it, you know, even though I was hesitant yeah. about it. Um, yes. The whole process, just having, you know, it's like I've always thought, like, oh, yeah, I would like to write. Is your, your dog hasn't got another chocolate bar, huh? Yeah, he's got another, he's got a magazine now. I shouldn't have let him in here. So sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no worries. If you need to grab him, but uh, I did have sorry. one question for you. Oh, all good. Um, do you have like a morning routine or something that you habitually do every morning that gets you, you know, out of bed on the right side, so to speak, or in the, a good frame of mind? Yeah, I, um, you know, I have, oh. I get up pretty early. So I get up around between okay. 5 and 5.30. And wow. my, I have to get start getting the kids ready at 7. So I have about an hour. Okay. Hour. Okay. So I'll, lately I've been doing the morning pages. So I will write for okay. 20 minutes and then I will usually do a workout and I have a little sauna. So I'll sit in the sauna and so I kind of switch it around and I'll do different things. Right. I'll meditate okay. Sometimes. Um, but I just have that time. So I just practice types of practices every morning. And I think I'm going to start incorporating more yoga is what I'm feeling called to do. I used to practice a lot of yoga when I was going to yoga studios. And so now right. I think I'm going to start just more of a practice on my own instead of just working out. Mm. Um, nice. But writing is something that I'm wanting to do because I find just yeah. doing those morning pages and getting my thoughts out really helps, really helps me be more productive and just um, more focused during my day to kind of even though it has nothing to do with what i'm going to do during the day it's just right. the practice of doing that always surprised me about, you know and yeah so that and um meditating those are big ones that i pretty much yeah nice yeah. yeah awesome well, i love that okay yeah uh, it's kind of like a journaling automatic writing yeah um yeah pages yeah yeah that's a beautiful thing to do and it just gets yeah i guess it helps you process feelings as well like how are you feeling today like what's you know what's really on your mind like what's behind you know the emotions happening or you know i find it help, just frees up space to come from more of a responsive place rather than a reactive space um yeah, we accumulate stuff during, you know, during the day. So it's right. nice to, you know, what have you been marinating in the last eight hours? You know what I mean? Like, what's really there? And right. uh, yeah, it's a powerful thing to do. And it's so simple. I think a lot of times the simple processes are the most empowering and beneficial for us, you know. Um, that's cool. I love it. Also, I knew it would be something cool. That's why I had to ask it. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, great chatting with you, Nadia. And of course, uh, we'll have the links below where people can read your chapter uh, in our book, uh, Transform Your Wounds into Wisdom. Uh, of course, uh, we'll have the links where people can uh, check out your group work. And also, if someone's in northern um, northern like Michigan, Michigan, they can come. Yeah, yeah they can come, come to over. the roof, rooftop yoga studio. So. Wow. Yeah, yoga roots. Yoga roots. Uh, yoga, yeah, okay, cool. All right. Oh, okay, right. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Inside. <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us today, Nadia. Greatly appreciate it. Um, peace out. Everyone, thanks for listening. Yeah. Yeah, take have a, care. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Okay. Ciao. You too. Okay. Okay. Thank you.